He's he's quite a he's a happy chap most of the time, but I'm not sure about right now. I think he'll be up for a chat. But of course, no forcing the issue with an angry driver as we look to the replay of that start. And it was further back. The 66 and the 3 coming together. The 3 enters the corner. The 66 doesn't exit. Just light contact and a light spin. So once again, proving tough to get a lap down here. In There was a bit of contact there too. As you look further back. Yeah, Nicola got squeezed in there a little. So I'll see if I can get take 3 going. We both had a crack at it, Kai. Here we go again. Heat number 3. Run away. Bergmeier, have a look at Gartner. Where's he come from? He was supposed to start oh, at the back. Oh, look out. Oh, upside down. Big crash. Wow. Mick wow. Nicola up and over. You called it, Kai. You saw it. You had a better angle than I did. I just saw the car flying out from the back of our international case truck to, uh, tractor down here in the infield. But that is a rarity. Anyone, anyone else that didn't quite get the start of that will be able to have a look. As we look towards turn three, the big screen. Keep an eye, mid-pack, full speed this replay. Bang into the side of G Committee, skip, hop, over. In a good way. Not a good way. Not a good way, a big, <laughs> a a big, a a big good way. effort at it. A big way. <laughs> Never good to see a car get up and over with the amount of effort that goes in. But here it is again, you'll see him get into the left rear of G Committee. Skips and on the balloon tyres goes over once and twice. Couple of big hits to the side of the car during the roll and on its roof, Phil. So one more time. Full speed. Yeah, quite, yeah, quite nasty. As you see, just... It was very similar a restart to what he had. I think it was the second or was even the opening one. Sort of got wedged in between two cars on that occasion too. So Mayfield family, Thornbill Race Fabrication, Gartner Racing, Donny Yench Brown, who were in the club rooms earlier. Swampfort Pest Control, Cowlin Welding. Uh, Damien Brown. Here in the pit area with Mick Nicola. Mick standing in front of the race car. Not too often you see a super sand go upside down, but uh, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling fine. I'm more disappointed for... Uh, Campy than anybody else. Um, he's the one that's got to fix it. I was going to say, a fair bit of work to be done. Have you had a look at the chassis pretty straight or you, have, you ain't know to take the body off? Uh, no, the chassis the chassis is fine. It's built uh, a lot stronger than m most, this one. But, uh, yeah, we, we'll be out tomorrow night because the body's just uh, gone on it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not too often the car goes upside down. You sort of just got into the back of the 12 car there and sort of tripped you over. Yeah, well, I uh, was past a one car and... Um, the other car balked in front of me on a, on a rut and I was committed and, um, yeah, just caught him and over I went. It's a track you've had pretty good success at over the years too, so you probably haven't raced here for a few years. You're probably looking forward to getting back here. Yeah, well, we definitely were. We thought we were going to have half a crack tonight, um, but we, we can't without a car. I was going to say, so how many hours do you anticipate is probably going to get this car back on the racetrack? Me, not many. It can't be a lot. <laughs> No, I was going to say, it's just disappointing to see it go upside down. A good field of Victorian drivers that come over to what is a great weekend of Super Sedan racing here in South Australia. Yeah, no, the, um, it would have been fantastic. I, 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 we were committed to run tomorrow night and have a good crack at it. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, good that they put it on and we'll try again next year. Sure, we'll see you back. You say you're multiple Australian champion. I think you've won the state title a couple of times as well. So it was great to see you back. Yeah, no, thank you. There you go, that was Mick Nicola standing in front of what is left of his beautiful super sedan. Well, it was beautiful prior to the accident, of course. And we'll see what else, who else we can catch up with throughout the night. We'll just keep, actually, we we'll just might just keep walking and we'll see who we can get hold of.